Second, let's get started. The British music magazine Melody Maker was first published on this date in 1926. The magazine promised news and information to all who were, who were interested in the production of popular music. The famed Andrews sisters recorded their legendary music single Boogie Woogie Bugle Boy in 1941. Eddie Fisher tops the music chart at number one with Oh My Papa in 1954. Elvis Presley went to be number one on the U.S. album music chart in 1965 with the soundtrack from Roustabout, and this was Elvis Presley's eighth number one. In 1968, John Lennon and Yoko Ono's new experimental album, Two Virgins, is seized by New Jersey authorities after viewing the front cover. It was a non-sexual, full frontal nude shot of the couple. Apple eventually gets around the problem by issuing the LP in a brown, plain brown wrapper, just like pornography. Also in 1968, Elvis Presley releases his album, Elvis Golden Years Records, Volume 4. Keeping with Elvis Presley, in 1971 he released his album, Elvis Country, on 10,000 years old. The George Harrison album, All Things Must Pass, started a seven-week run at number one on the U.S. music album chart in 1971. This made George Harrison the first solo Beatle to score a U.S. number one album. Back to Elvis Presley, he releases his album, Elvis, A Legendary Performer, Volume 1, in 1974. U.S. District Court Judge Richard Owens allows John Lennon and his counsel access to his FBI files in 1975. This was all part of Lennon's deportation case. Lennon had a suspicious feeling that the deportation attempt is politically motivated. In 1978, an independent record store in Los Angeles, California called Rhino Records releases their first LP, Wild Mania, by local character Wild Man Fisher, three years after releasing a novelty single by Fisher called Go To Rhino Records. The band Meatloaf started a three-week run at number one on the UK album music chart in 1994 with Bat Outta Hell 2, Back Into Hell. Faith Hill scores a double platinum for the second time in 1997 with her album, It Matters to Me. Music man Isaac Hayes went to number one on the UK music singles chart in 1999 with Chocolate Salty Balls, P.S. I Love You, under the name Chef. This was Hayes' character on the TV show South Park. Isaac Hayes, if you remembered, had the 1971 hit with Shaft. The band Green Day rose to number one on the UK music album chart in 2005 with American Idiot. The album went on to be nominated for 70 Grammy, seven Grammy Awards, winning the Best Rock Album of 2005. It was a cold day on January 2nd, 2006 when Leanne Rimes performed for the Tournament of Roses Parade fans in Pasadena, California. Being the entertainer she is, she did an amazing job with singing Something's Gotta Give. The ratings were in, and on January 2, 2008, Josh Groban was listed as America's Top Selling Artist of 2007. The 26-year-old, whose hits included You Raise Me Up, had the best-selling album of the year with the Christmas compilation, Noel, which sold close to 3.7 million copies. 
Rock group ACDC became the biggest sellers of 2008 according to the official U.S. sales figures as they sold over 3.4 million albums in 2007. To help promote the group's latest album, Black Ice, Columbia Records created Rock Again ACDC stores. Black Ice trucks were dispatched on the street of New York and Los Angeles playing ACDC music loud and made various stops selling merchandise. Singer Adele was at number one on the U.S. album music charts with her, her third solo album, 25, in 2015. The album was extremely successful, debuting at number one in more than 25 markets and broke the first week sales in numerous countries. And now it's time to say happy birthday to all those people who created music or had a hand in creating music that we all love. Harold Bradley was born in 1926. Harold was a member of the Nashville team of studio musicians who performed with Elvis Presley, Loretta Lynn, Patsy Cline, and many others. He became a member of the Country Music Hall of Fame. Singer Roger Miller was born in 1936. Roger was not only a singer, he was a guitarist and a TV star as well. He had the U.S. number four music single, King of the Road. Chick Churchill was born in 1942. Chick became a keyboardist with the band 10 years after, who had a top 10 music single, Love Like a Man. In 1954, John Jarvis was born. John went on to become a Sessions keyboardist who performed with George Strait, Mary Chapin Carpenter, Winona, Vince Gill, Conway Twitty, Steve Warner, and others. Glenn Goins was born in 1954. Glenn was a guitarist and vocals for Parliament, Funkadelic. The band had the 1978 U.S. number 16 music album, One Nation Under a Groove. Country singer Ricky Shelton was born in 1957. Ricky racked up 10 number one hits during his career. Douglas Sean Robb was born in 1975. Douglas went on to become part of the band Hoobastank. In 2004, they had a U.S. number two hit, The Reason. Chris Hartman was born in 1978. Chris became a member of the band Emerson Drive, who made their U.S. debut in 2002. In March 2003, he left the band, and he might have regretted this move, as the band won the Academy Country Music Award two months later. In 1993, Bryson Tiller was born. Bryson became an American singer, songwriter, and rapper. His debut single, Don't, peaked at number 13 on the U.S. music charts. And as we close out the music history for January 2nd, we would like to end with the famed words, of the great Casey Kasem himself. Keep your feet on the ground and keep reaching for the stars. Thank you.